In an unprecedented and historic move, President Biden drops out of the 2024 race for the White House. It comes after his highly criticized debate three weeks ago, which sparked relentless pressure from his own Democratic Party to abandon his re-election bid. In a letter addressed to my fellow Americans, the president writing, It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. This was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. President Biden throwing his support behind Vice President Kamala Harris, who had taken the lead on fighting for women's reproductive rights. Do we believe in the promise of America? Yeah. And are we ready to fight for it? Yeah. Harris saying, I am honored to have the president's endorsement, and my intention is to earn and win this nomination. We're told she spent much of Sunday calling party leaders and others shoring up support. Leading Democrats, including California Governor Gavin Newsom, red state moderates like Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear, and prominent progressives in Congress like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, all backing Harris. Kamala Harris, as our Democratic presidential nominee, is going to bring an X factor. Tens of thousands of other African-American women from business to politics to Hollywood joined a Zoom call, raising over a million dollars in just three hours in support of the first black and Indian American woman sitting vice president who is now running to succeed President Biden. Former President Trump attacking Biden's legacy, saying he was not fit to run for president and never was, while also quickly shifting his attacks to Harris.